Will out there, Cyber Friends. Hey, this is the Mitty Man coming back at you once again, back to back with the word for the day. I want to come back because I want to, I wanted to, uh, I, I touched upon in my last video about what the pastor had came about the day talking about worldly living. And I just, something just, just grabbed me, you know, I wanted to come and read the reference to scripture. It comes from 2 Corinthians 6 chapter, and we're going to start reading at the 17th verse. And it reads as such, Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. Let's stop right there. May God add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Now people, I'm just going to be straight, I'm going to shoot straight from the hip on this, and I'm not holding anything back. I'm going to tell it like it is. Now we see here very plain and clear. The 17th verse, it says, Wherefore, Come out from among them, and be ye separate. Say who? The First Baptist Church? No. First Methodist Church? No. Church of God in Christ? No. Say who? The Lord. And what touch not the unclean thing? And he said, I will receive you. Let's start right there on that very first verse. How many times? I know it had happened to me. And the first thing we want to clear up, first and foremost, let's clear this up right here. We already know ain't nobody perfect. Because that's what a lot of people love to say. So don't even go there. We already know that. But this scripture say, wherefore what come out, huh, from among them, and be ye separate. How many times have you heard in your walk with God, and you are, you trying to stay away from certain stuff and, and incidents and situations, and people tell you, oh, they think they so good at two-shoe, they not they too good to be a monk folk. Have you heard that? I know I have. Oh, they think they something. Now, they, 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 they done got above themselves. You heard that? Well, think ahead. What do, what, do, what do God have to tell you? He said, come out from among them. Be ye separate. When something is separate, that's a dividing to me. He said, touch not the unclean thing. People, anything that's not clean is what? Unclean. No middle ground. He said, touch not the unclean thing. Come out from among them. Be ye separate. You see, we were supposed to be a peculiar people. Remember, when God called Abraham, God was getting ready to use and build and raise up the nation of Israel to be his peculiar people in the earth. It was through this race of people that the Messiah would come and did come. And he said they were to be a peculiar people. God never meant for them to have a king. Matter of fact, they were never supposed to look like the world or the Gentile. They were supposed to be separate, but they wanted to be like everybody else. That's what the problem with most of us to this day. We are not satisfied with what we are and what we have. We want to be like everybody else or like somebody else. God is saying here in this word, be ye separate. Come out from among them, lest you're going to get the judgment that's soon coming upon this world. And it's already happening. It's already happening, people. You don't have to be an Einstein to figure some things out. It's already in the mix. But what are we doing? We yet gallywagging. Prancing around, I got a song about it. 
dipping and dabbing. I call it when the church gets saved. You 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 can't you you can't mix and mingle with the world and, and expect to, to plead and serve God. You can't do it. He said, "Come out from among them and be you separate." You better forget about what people are talking about you. Talking about they thank you so much. Yes, I thank them so much. I'm too much to go to hell. I know that. And I'm not going to be studying about what you say. Talking about I'm good at two shoes. If it's going to keep me out of hell, yes, I'll be good at two shoes. Or three shoes or four shoes. It don't matter with me. But this word of God do not lie. And it said, come on, man. And he said, I will receive you. He didn't say, I might. He said, I will receive you. What part of God's word that you don't believe? What part of God's word that you don't believe? Verse 18, he said, And will be a father unto you. And you shall be my sons and daughters. Says who? Say men and man? No. Say you? No. Say the White House? No. Say Capitol Hill? No. Say the Lord what? Almighty. Saying that, look, this is me. God said this. I said, you will be my son. And you will be my daughters. If you do what? If you come out from among them and be ye separate and not and touch the unclean thing, I will what? Receive you. And not just as no servant. He didn't say I receive you as no servant. He didn't even say I see you as a Christian. He said as a son and a daughter. So God's going to receive us just like he received his own son. Jesus himself. So people, why in the world we want to keep mixing and mingling with the world and worrying about what this one's going to say about us? What that one's going to say? They're going to say, well, I'm too good. Yes, you are too good to go to hell. Don't you know Jesus died for you? What part of you don't want to what, what about that you don't understand? He said, for what shall it profit a man if he will gain the whole world and yet lose his own soul? Showing you the value of your soul. So yes, you are too good. You are good at two shoes. You're too good to go to heaven. I mean, too good to go to hell. Because Jesus came, God himself came down and died on the cross to keep you and I from going. But you know, we, some of us going to be just dumb enough to choose it anyway. Yes, I said it. I said it. We are going, some of us going to be dumb enough to choose hell anyway. Hell was not, hell, the lake of fire was not made for you, and it was not made for me. It was made for Satan and his angels that sinned with him. That's what that was made for. We are going to choose to go to it. And it's going to hurt God's heart. Satan knows this, people. He knows that the only thing that can hurt God is when he hurts his creation. Mainly the apple of his eye, man. What are man? What are man that I mindful of him? People, we are made after God's own likeness. We were made in his image and after his own likeness. Created a triune being just like himself. We are spirit, soul, and body. We are God's prime creation and say to know that if he can get many man to go to hell or get you to go to hell that's going to hurt God to his heart and he's trying everything he can to do to hurt God that's his main that's his prime objective so people I don't know about you but old many man he's going to do everything possible to not go in that fire. And you know what that is? You know what all you got to do? Except what Jesus did on the cross. That's it. See, it's so simple. We try to make it. In other words, well, ain't nobody perfect. Mm, sure ain't. You ain't got to be. Jesus was. That's, that's where I get mine from. His perfection. Not mine. There ain't nothing good in me. Nothing good in you. And if you think so, you're fooling yourself. There is nothing good that we can do, people. 
We can live five lifetimes. And I'm going to stop right here. We can live five lifetimes and still not be able to do what it takes. The only thing that God look at is the blood of his son. And if his blood is not on you, your name is not in the Lamb Book of Life. If you haven't been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, your name is not in the Lamb Book of Life. And the only way to the Father is through the Son. This is Mitty Man saying peace and goodbye.